okay? Yes. Sh should we begin? Yes. Yes. Welcome to today's video, which will be about the new Ridley bike, the Ridley Noah Fast. Oh, the Ridley Noah Fast with disc. With Race. disc. Well, I'm, I'm usually doing like mountain biking, so I'm not that into road bikes. This is a road bike. This is not the new Ridley. This is my Ridley. The, it's the previous model. Yeah, the previous model of the Ridley. But uh, we happened to get our hands on the new model, so we figured we share some thoughts about it and make some kind of review for you. So this video is the first video of our new YouTube channel. We're gonna call it Cycles and Stuff, because you're a cycle nerd, and you're dragging me with you into the black hole, and the rest of the part is stuff, which everybody loves. Stuff's good. Can never get enough stuff. Okay, so, so what's our main purpose of this video today? The main purpose is for normal people like you. Yeah, rookies. And me, who love bikes and stuff, and tell them what we think about the new Ridley, for instance, which I had the chance to test ride. Um, thanks to the Swedish importer, Nordic Trade, which sell Ridley bikes, and I bought my bike from them. Uh, I had the chance on two occasions to try the bike, and uh, even though it was a size medium, I run a size Was it a large? Okay, so you had a small? I thought it was a large. It was a medium. Oh, And this right. is a small. Okay, so uh, medium felt like large. It didn't feel big until I started climbing and got out of the saddle or sprinted because my legs sort of touched the mm. top tube. But otherwise, uh, it was a really nice bike. I haven't um, got too much to complain about, actually. It's, it, lo it looks pretty good. It looks very good. It's clean, it's neat. And if you look at uh, the competitors, like uh, the new Cannondale system yeah, it's, 6. I, I don't really know anything about like road bikes. You call these kind of bikes Aero, Aero models. bikes, uh, correct. So they're wind friendly. So to speak. okay, wind friendly, wind -friendly. aerodynamic Aero bikes. Aerodynamic wind friendly bikes. So what are the com uh, the competition to the Ridley? I would say uh, the new Cannondale System Six, the new Specialized Venge VS Disc, uh, BMC have a new bike, Aero bike with discs, more or less. Every manufacturer they have an aero bike oh. with discs as option. Some of them offer you disc brakes and normal rim brakes. Um, you know, mountain bikes, it's only disc. It used to be normal <laughs> rim brakes as well. But I, I like the idea with discs. A lot of people are uh, traditional roadies which would never put their asses on a road bike with discs, but uh, I like the idea to have great stopping power. I think they makes me feel a lot safer yeah. in all kinds of conditions. I had a chance to ride the new bike in rain, actually. Oh. The only thing that I didn't like with it was that it would make a lot of noise when it was wet. Okay. But so I don't know, that's not thanks to the bike. That's something Did else. the brakes scream in the rain? They were quite squeaky, yeah. Oh, squeaky brakes. Mm. We don't like that when you I like, don't like that at all. put your effort into your brand new expensive bike and it starts screaming on you. Because one of the things I did like with the new Ridley, that it was so quiet. Ah, until the rain came. Until the rain came. Yeah. Crash now. Okay, so no rain. <laughs> if you buy the Ridley, don't go out in rain. Then I mean, go for another normally brand. Normally I'm a sunshine rider, yeah. so I would never go out in the rain either way. Yeah. But it, right. it caught me on the way home from work. But uh, otherwise, I would say the bike itself, it runs very smooth, it feels neutral. All right. Uh, and maybe it was because of the 
non-correct size yeah. and I didn't have the chance to dial it in per properly as I would prefer to have my bike like for instance this one it felt like I had the, the bars a little bit too high I couldn't get the reach and the drop the way that I want the bike to be uh, so it wasn't that nimble and fast in the turns it was more like uh, a mountain bike? <laughs> no, not a mountain bike. More, more a comfortable ride. Okay, a not comfy as, racer. Not as racy as I would have preferred. Yeah. Um, the bike is dead stiff. Okay. I mean, every stroke you put in the pedals, you just fly. Okay, that's I think, good. Uh, the bike itself would uh, suit big guys. Okay, you mean like strong guys? Strong guys, a lot of wattage. I have to call and, Peter uh, Sagan. I call Peter Sagan, tell him <laughs> to change brand. No, but I would say, uh, like people in the north normally are big. I'm not one of those big guys. Yeah, the Vikings. The Vikings would love <laughs> this bike. No, but I have one of my um, friends in our club who's, I mean, his calves, I can fit in them because he's so big. <laughs> uh, so this bike would be definitely something for him. I mm. like this Ridley because it's so I don't know the right correct word. But it's, it's your bike. It's my bike, yeah. first of all. Yeah. That's why it's extra good. But I, I just love the way it performs. I've taken this bike on uh, a lot of trips to uh, Gran Canaria. I've been in the French Alps and I've been in the Swiss Alps with this bike, and it climbs great and it's comfortable. All right. Even though it's an aero bike, and normally aero bikes aren't that comfy. Okay, so that's good. But what are like the big differences from? this very old bike mm. compared to the new Ridley? I would say uh, in terms of looks, the old bike in the fork for instance, this has been a signature mark for the Ridley Noah. This is the Ridley Noah SL. Uh, I don't know if it's possible to see them, but you have like uh, yeah, cutouts. Like there are holes there, in your fork. Holes in, hole in the fork. Is it broken? It's broken, man. No, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's not broken. It's supposed to be beneficial for aerodynamics. Uh, I would think in the beginning that it would be not as stiff as you would have wished, but this one is dead stiff. So is the disc version of the NOAA, but it doesn't have these cutouts. It makes the new bike look very clean, uh, even cleaner. And also on the new bike it's an uh, integrated handlebar. Ah, right. Uh, with all that the was cables. a nice detail. Yeah, it was a nice touch. Yeah. It looks really nice. And it's a stiff handlebar as well. Okay. Once again, I'm not that big, but like if I'm doing a max sprint, I would say I could do 1200 or 1250 watts. And pushing down the handlebar, it didn't feel like it was mushy or uh, okay. flexy. So nice. that's a good thing. Stiff handlebars. Stiff handlebars and stiff overall, the bike itself. But otherwise, differences, uh, I mean, the, the new NOAA Fast, it's an old name. They used to have a Noah Fast before. Okay. It's a completely new bike. But if you like have this bike, is it worth upgrading? What do you get more than the disc? You get the good looks, some, a few changes. I would but say it's a lot of money. If you're one of the lucky owners of one of these bikes, you could stick with it. Unless yeah, right. you have the money and you want to invest in disc brakes, then you should definitely consider the Ridley as an option. Yeah. But if you compare it to the other bikes, What's the price range for the new Ridley compared to like the Venge? Uh, it's uh, it's a quite big difference between the bikes, and it's difficult to compare them because the Specialized is a more high-end brand, right? And also uh, you get more gear on the Specialized. I mean, right? the Specialized they come in, I don't know how many options oh, with right. this, uh, but this take the S Works for instance, it comes with power meter from the beginning. Yeah, I think the wheels on the Specialized is. The Roval CLX 65s or something, or 64s maybe, I'm not uh, sure with the numbers there, but, but they are good wheels. And the bike itself it has uh, Shimano Durace Di2, it's all the high end stuff you can get, plus the power meter. Oh. But the bike is like retail price in euros, I would say 12,000 maybe. Yeah, it's and kind of a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a, but for for us, for the regular people. For regular people, it's a lot of money. It's only gonna be regular people watching this YouTube channel. The unregular people, they buy shit and they don't <laughs> really care how much it costs. <laughs> it's for you guys that doesn't have unlimited funds. 
But uh, I mean, everybody watching this video is a bike nerd or is going to be a bike nerd. Yeah, sorry, you haven't realized it yet, but you will be a bike nerd. So specifics about the new Ridley, weights, uh, all the goodies. We have an information we can share. Yeah, we did weigh the bike, the the new Ridley with discs, uh, and I, I must say, I was hoping it to be quite, quite. Uh, Light? At least lighter. Lighter. It came in on 8 kilograms. Oh Jesus, that oh, is so that's heavy. Effing heavy. You man. should see right. my mountain bike. It's <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that's in uh, pounds. But no. maybe you can do some nice graphics. Yeah, we can uh, show you right here. Oh, so 8 nice. kilograms in pounds is right here. So 8 kilograms and you paid 79,000 crowns, which is around 7,900 euros. You probably put your own saddle on. You need to buy some new wheels, even though the Forza wheels, which is Ridley's in-house wheel ram, yeah. they feel stiff, they look good. They were tubulars as well. This one is 7.3 kilograms versus 8 kilograms. And you get a punishment for having the disc brakes. Okay, it's extra weight. Extra weight. Okay. Normally I would say it's around a half kilo. And if you look at the competitor, like we talked about the uh, Specialized S-Works bench, they say uh, or they claim the weight should be 7.2 kilograms. So that's a big difference. Yeah. With brake, disc brakes? With disc brakes. Yeah, that's a big difference. It's a big difference. At the same time, the price range is different. Yeah. On the other side, you get a lot of good stuff. Yeah, it's hard, hard choices for Very you hard guys. Choices. Uh, so to sum it up, buy well, every single one. Buy of whatever you can come across. <laughs> if you can't afford it, go to the bank and tell them you need a new bike. Talk to your wife also, so we don't have to start a new YouTube channel about <laughs> marriage counseling, because it's gonna happen sooner or later. <laughs> no more vacation with the kids. Yeah. So are we missing anything? We no. might do. Yeah, I mean, we're probably... new at this, so I mean, if you have any questions, it would be lovely for you to leave a comment, and I'll try yeah. to answer them. H hit us up with comments. We're for sure missing a lot of stuff. We're new to this, making reviews of bikes, but hopefully it's the start of a new era, and we would really appreciate this. Since we right now at this moment have zero subscribers, if you hit that subscribe button, maybe thumbs up for the video, tell us in the comments what you want to see next. Uh, because we have some contacts, we can uh, grab a hold of some cool bikes. We know some people. Yeah, we know some know people. Some other people that know some people. That rub the other people. So, uh, much appreciated for you taking the time to watch. Uh, see you in the next video, whatever that might be. Take care.